Hello lovely people, it's Kamari here and I am so so mad. I'm also fiddling with my hair so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> How are we all? I hope you're having a good week. I'm back with you this week to share with you more of my adventures in my sewing room. Um, thank you for the lovely suggestions um, on, uh, around what I should be entitling these. Um, uh, as I am batch filming some of these, um, I might not have been able to incorporate some of the great ideas um, that um, uh, that you come up with. So that's hard to explain, but <laughs> thank you. Keep the ideas coming. Um, I will always really appreciate them. Oh, got another visit. Hello, you. Oh, no, out again. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this wonderful weather we've been having. Um, it's a little bit more English summer uh, this week, which it makes well, makes a variety of clothes easier because um, I don't know about you but I suddenly found myself thinking oh, I've got enough shorts, oh, I've got enough dresses um, or short sleeve tops etc. Luckily I had already made this um, now you'll recognise this fabric from the Nova jumpsuit that I made just a few weeks ago um, and I think I've told you about um, that I was going to make this but I'm not sure I've actually shown it to you. If I have shown it to you I apologise in advance but it already is one of my favourite tops that I wear um, and this is the Emma blouse by Tiana Designs. Um, I've actually got two of these to show you this week, I've got a bug here somewhere. Um, it's just the sim I know I've talked about it hundreds of times but it is my current crap, uh, scrap buster. Sorry about what my mouth just said without me trying to there, sorry about that. Um, but yes it's a front and a back and it's got this beautiful flutter sleeve um, and then it's got this very simple scoop front and back on it. It's literally front and back, um, shoulder seams together, side seams together, and you're done. And in particular, as this is a jersey, I haven't even finished my edges. Um, so I've done no hemming at all. Um, and I have actually, sorry about the seagulls, uh, and this is the, um, <laughs> I don't live by the sea, but I'm only about 40 minutes, um, how long, no, 10, 20 minutes from the sea, and I have got, oh, I don't know, it's a whole load of, a gaggle of seagulls have just turned up, so I hope you can hear me all right. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm wearing the Sapphire trousers that I happened to have shown you um, in a previous video, because they're just so easy to pull on and wear. Um, yeah, so this was the first make, um, and um, do you know what, I was talking about the Sapphire trousers last time, in terms of, i kind of forgotten they exist. Um, and it just really ignited my um, fire in terms of I could yeah this is the this is the pair of trousers I want to be wearing right now simple waistband simple to make make them in moments really um, just a crazy amount of time these take such a short amount of time now I'm not a, a rushing sewist but I am a fast sewer um, I'm just I just have to get it finished I start and I can't stop until it's done Does no one else like that um, and so um, I've been going through my wardrobe as we do as as the weather heats up and you think oh I'll reach for that and then I reached for these and I will put a picture up here I reached for this beautiful fabric this is a um, Lady, McC uh, Lady McElroy fabric that I was gifted from Minerva, and I'm going to say two, maybe three years ago, and I made the Sapphire dungarees. So there are lots of, uh, not lots, but there's three options. You can do Sapphire trousers, Sapphire dungarees, or there's a lovely play suit um, as well. Um, and I made these these dungarees. I loved them at the time, but the fit was never quite right. Now I'm quite a busty lady, as you know, and I never really got. I prefer to have a higher back also as you know and I never really got the fit of the bib right um, versus the, the wearability of it all. Now in the picture, I love the picture and I look like they're as comfy as anything but I did not reach for them very much but it's such a waste of fabric so <gasps> where's the top gone? I literally hacked them. Um, I, only did, I literally did this the, just moments before I wore them out um, so if you imagine the bib would have been here and I basically cut cut it so that I had about I'd say probably two inches five centimeters or so maybe slightly longer 
in order to create to create the original waistband, if you like, or casing, um, folded it over and stitched it down, popped some elastic in, done. So now I have a much more wearable pair of trousers that already this week I have reached for twice, if not three times. So I just wear this with a really simple black top. Um, oh, it's such a drapey, lovely fabric. I'm not even sure you can still get this fabric anymore. I haven't seen it doing the rounds for a little while. It's just got all these beautiful colours in it. So um, this isn't just the fire of now, it's the fire of the past, but yeah, it's it's part of what my, my brain wanted to, sh to tell you. Um, where should I put those? Let's put them down there, shall I? Um, and then, oh, okay. Uh, and then, I'm, so I'm gonna tell you about another pair of trousers and then I'll come back to another set of, ironically, what I am wearing now. I could not have edited that any differently. But look, let me talk to you about um, these trousers. Um, so these, do you remember this linen? I bought this linen um, a, a few weeks ago in an unexpected fabric sale in a local shop. Um, and so I bought the linen and I thought, oh, I'm not sure that's really my colour, if I'm honest. Um, and then, um, then I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to make trousers. I, I know Lisa Comfort does this sometimes. She, uh, she says, if there's a colour that you really love, but when you put it up to your face, it's not right, or you don't feel a natural affinity for it, then make them as bottoms um, because it's further away from your face and you can still get the colour you love in your life and yet yeah, it, it, it suits your colour scheme better. So I made these and these are the Chaley trousers um, by the Sussex Seamstress. Um, and again, Jane kindly, Jane kindly gave me this pattern, I'm going to say over a year ago, um, maybe six months to a year ago. So I apologise, Jane. Um, Jane is kind enough to occasionally share patterns with me with no obligation to share, but I am I am just always really enthusiastic to share her beautiful designs. Um, and last week I shared her, the beautiful Mayfield jacket. So this week is the turn of the Chaley trousers. Um, they're a beautiful wide leg um, collot. Um, they've got this wonderful pleat detail on the front, um, which I hope you can see just there and there. It's a flat front um, and a, a really beautiful elastic waist on the back there um, absolutely lovely now every time I make something from Jane I will put some photos and footage if I've got it just here every time I, th I make something from Jane I learn something new um, and every pattern that Jane designs comes with a, um, a fully accessible free YouTube video um, so you don't even have to have the pattern you can just watch the YouTube video um, and she creates these trousers by making the waistband first and I just think that's a stroke of genius I really do because I am by the time I normally get onto a waistband um, <laughs> I'm not rushing exactly but I might be um, looking forward to finishing the project and so sometimes the waistbands um, are, you know, a moment of, what's the word? Uh, it's not impatience, it's not, in, I'm not being impatient, but I just want to, I want to wear my product, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, look at these babies, I want to wear them. So Jane has you do the waistband first, and therefore, I think um, the construction and the finish on these trousers is one of the best ones I've ever made. I, I just love it. Um, and, and then you you basically create you sew the you sew the um, the elastic in one end and then the other and then and then you sort of sew the rest of the waistband over the top of it. I think it's incredibly clever. I, I just absolutely love it. I really love the design of these. Um, they've got a faux front on the uh, on here, and so there is. Um, but the the cut of the pattern has it so that there's. You know, there's an, enough density of fabric here to make it look and feel like a fly, which is very clever. Um, but it is a faux fly. Um, I chose to stitch these darts, uh, these pleats down um, because because the, the fabric is quite bulky. If you were using a drapey fabric, these pleats would be magic, I think. Um, and uh, for me, though, 
the fabric sort of stuck out so I, I, I actually stitched those down but I absolutely love these um, so these are the Chaley trousers um, by the Sussex seamstress I did talk about them in a previous video but I <laughs> just genuinely wanted to talk to you about them some more and I have worn these endlessly and actually this linen has been pretty well behaved um, so oh did I tell you about the pockets yeah lovely big slant pockets Sorry, I forgot that, didn't I? Beautiful big um, big pockets. And Jane just holds your hand all the way through the construction. And once again, I didn't even check the instructions. I literally had Jane in the sewing room with me on my video and I was watching and sewing um, and just pausing to get the bits and pieces done. She's just got such an, a lovely way about her videos. Really clever and some amazing techniques in there. So thank you, Jane. An amazing, amazing pair of trousers. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm, I am going to change actually um, into the next outfit because it would be pretty hard for me to describe it to you I think with it just as a bit lost without having it on so bear with and I will come back in a second. Okay here I am back again. Um, oh do you know what this fabric, this fabric brings me just pure joy pure joy just to look at it to, to wear it to work with it this is the um oh hello alice um this is the fabric god godmother fabric um hello darling oh, i appreciate it. <laughs> just coming in going round, going out again fabric godmother fabric um uh you may remember i was lucky enough to go to um an open day it'll be a good couple of months ago now i think and i treated myself to a meter and a half of this fabulous viscose fabric it is super lightweight and dreamy um <laughs> we got another whip in here now sorry all the noses and ear flapping and all sorts of things yeah hello um and i i was unsure about what to weigh to, to make sorry um i sat deliberating on it and then i just thought just just go for it don't want it just sitting on my shelf looking at me going hello I'm beautiful I really want to make it up into something and you'll know that I have a love affair with this top this is the Emma um, Emma blouse by Tiana designs you know how simple it is you know how little fabric it makes uh, it takes sorry and therefore out of a meter and a half of fabric not only did I get a top ta-da but I got some shorts and again these are the Sophia trousers um, and I think now I've got one more pair to show you but in a, in a future video oh my god I'm gonna put some footage in let me sit down I'm gonna I'm gonna put some footage in I'll move over a little bit so I can put my footage in easier here and this is an utter pure case of make the Sophia trousers in whatever length fabric you have so when I'm sitting down here now these shorts are mid thigh when I stand up they are um, just like a Bermuda length shorts really uh, I love it this I haven't had a chance to wear this yet I'm going out tonight actually but I think it's it's more of a daytime outfit than a nighttime outfit outfit because um, the fabric is really is really quite lightweight um, now had I been where it had I had this two or three weeks ago then this would have been perfect weight fabric for those ridiculous ridiculously hot um, few days we had but this is an outfit of pure joy um, I even put uh, no I didn't put pockets actually I didn't know I didn't put pockets because I didn't have enough fabric um, yeah I, yeah it's just genius and I'm gonna stand up again I'm sorry but I love I love the combination of the stripes here um, going up and, and going down and you've got to imagine guys this this top and um, <laughs> getting up and down like a jack-in-the-box sorry I'm not making you seasick it's just my style isn't it um, you can imagine this top with jeans and shorts you can imagine the trousers with a little red top um, I have actually bought um, a, a red shell top thing I have got a red, red shell top that I've made but um, I saw one on Sheen I think it's called my daughter buys from them all the time and just thought oh that pop of red with those shorts would look really special um, and I haven't bought any rib vests or anything like that for years 
um, and just obviously what three ninety nine or something for a rib top. I'm just going to go for it. So I bought one. Hasn't arrived yet. Otherwise, I'd try it on. But um, look out for my Instagram account, um, which is at so so mad. I put that up on the screen here now because I do share um, more pictures over there of my sort of my uh, everyday life if you like not always but sometimes but what do you think let me know i just love it such great fun and it's buttery soft to wear um i genuinely feel like i'm yeah hardly wearing anything um i will say to you if you're going to be making this um it's now been re-released in a cotton lawn which obviously would probably be um have a bit more opacity this it's not sheer no you can't see through it but um, you would need to wear light coloured underwear, I think, personally. Um, well, I, I, I had black, black undies on and I needed to change those um, before I wore this out. So, um, not that I've worn it out yet, but even just to come down here, I thought, ooh, uh, just in case it showed up on the footage. So, um, oh, it's just dreamy. I absolutely love it. Um, and I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you about this week. God, that seems to have gone really quickly. So, um, <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't waffled on too quickly or just in, been enthusiastically too fast. I do love sharing with you on a weekly basis what I get up to, um, and I hope you like hearing about it. So, um, please let me know what you think. Um, do you like this format of video, by the way? It's so quite short and sweet, but um, I just want to keep in touch, share with, with you what I've been up to. Um, and uh, yeah, that's just good fun. But I'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next week for another installment. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.